Hey guys, Chip here, and today I want to talk about a way of modeling that many, many other programs use. And what that is, is they use paths. They create what they may call a path or an outline in a 2D way, and then they use that path and they extrude and do other things with it. And it's actually not a familiar way for Blender to use. So I'm talking about programs like Fusion 360, SketchUp, Moi 3D, Rhino, all of these programs basically use paths or outlines and then extrude and work from there. As I said, Blender doesn't do this. And one of the reasons for it, I believe, is because they don't have 2D booleans. So here are three objects that I've created. They're all coplanar. They're all 2D, and essentially. And I'd like to join them together. And so how do you do that? Well, you certainly can't use a modifier to do it because modifiers aren't going to work here. So I'd like to show you a way that you can combine all three of these in a Boolean fashion to create an outline at which you can start to model with. So to get started, what I'll do is I'm going to just shift A and create a mesh a plane and I'm going to drop that down just below this and I'll scale it fairly large. And then I'll go to my top view and I'll select all of these objects with the plane being selected last. And I'll tab into them. And what I want to do is I want to select only the objects that I want to keep. So I'll use the L key. And just hover over vertex and then tap the L key and it selects those objects. Now that I have those selected, as we can see, this is what it looks like. We're in the edit mode for everything. And with that, I can go to mesh, knife project. And when I knife project, you'll see that we now have cut into this bottom plane all of those objects. So with that being said, I'm going to tab out of this and I'll select the top objects again and I'll hit the H key to hide them and I'll go back into my top view and I'll tab back into this object and now I'm just going to say control I and then X and we'll say dissolve the edges and the faces and then I say A and we'll go to 3 which is the plane mode and we'll say X and we'll do a limited dissolve and now we're in pretty good shape. We just need to move this back up to zero and make sure that we apply the scale. And now we're in, in a way that we can actually tab into this, hit the E key, move it up, and we can start to use this in a traditional way if you're used to working with outlines. Uh, you can, of course, do the same thing with differencing by just selecting the different parts that you want to keep or lose after the knife project. So I hope this helps and uh, we'll see you online. Thanks. Bye.